It was, it was really awesome, actually, because we were just a big group of kids, basically. <laughs> and during the day, we'd walk, and sometimes we'd bump into each other on the trail, and we'd stop and have tea and, you know, talk. It started from a youth, and that youth, Cree youth, Iyushi, James Bay. David, he said that nothing was happening in our territories. Nobody was putting... Um, signs on their windows, I don't know more, nobody was supporting it. So this was kind of like us saying that we're not sellouts, there are people that still care about the land. We didn't have a voice, but now we do, we're coming to that age. So. I was working with kids and I thought, you know, like somebody has to stand up for these kids. Like somebody has to, you know, sacrifice themselves for them because there are young people that are suffering because nobody wants to listen to us. I started actually on February 21st and I started from Muskegna. So I think that was about 1,200, I think, kilometers. I met everybody from like in our area, like the James Bay Cree, and I met some people from Algonquin territory also. We actually lit the eighth fire of unity when we reached Lac Simon in Algonquin territory. The, the cold actually hit more um, with uh, David, like the original seven walkers. We had to literally have our scarf from here and then our hat from here. It really made me humble and it really made me think about my ancestors and when they travel, how cold it was. It also made me a lot more closer to the land when I go out in the bush, it's, it's not just I'm there. It's like my spirit is there. Everything is there. I'm feeling, I'm listening. We left from Chelsea. Um, we we're really excited. All of us were like, yeah, to, you know, today is the day we've been walking for so long for this day, you know, like all the blisters and all the aches and all the pains, you know, <laughs> all for this one day. When we reached uh, Victoria Island right away, we kind of like gathered around uh, Teresa Spence and um, David with Stanley, right? And there's drumming everywhere popping out. It was awesome just to hear all the drumming like coming from this direction. Like that drumming group would stop and then this drumming group would start. We we're walking on, in the highway with all these tall glass buildings and just the contrast in culture like everybody had snowshoes. When we arrived at Parliament Hill, as we we're going, as I was going up and I looked and I saw just how many people there were. I was pointing out all the faces that I was, that I noticed in the honor song with the eagle. The eagle, well for me it represented that what we were doing was felt by the creator. The creator saying like, I see you guys. People always say, like when I tell them that I actually walked, you know, you guys, it was such a big movement, you know, like people all over the world were watching. Well, as my father described it, it's like something that I put into my treasure box of like things I did in my life. When people hear about what has happened to us, like as people, like residential schools, all the treaties that aren't respected, they start feeling shame. They're like, I can't believe that my people did that to you, you know, and, but just don't feel that way. Like it was, you know, it's history. We're, we are sitting on like really um, resource rich land, but the native people were given, um, we're given the job to protect the land. Start talking about it more. Don't judge that native person that's protesting. They're protesting for their children. Because you would exactly do the same thing, right? So maybe you guys should try connecting with us and starting to learn to live off of the land and see the beauty of it. <laughs> Must I say